Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and in today's video, I will be bringing you guys my Washington football team 2021 dream free agency, so I'll give you guys players that I think the Washington football team should sign, and players that I think would fit them well, and of course, players that they should re-sign that are their own free agents. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. Also, make sure to hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so the Washington football team is in a very good situation cap-wise. They sit around $39 million um, according to over the cap. Could be a little bit more could be a little bit less depending on when you guys are seeing this video. So they have a lot of cap space to work with, especially this season when you're going to get players at a discounted price or, you know, at least some of the mid-tier players because a lot of teams don't have much cap space and a lot of these veteran guys are going to go for a lot cheaper than they normally do. Obviously, players like Kenny Galladay, Corey Davis, guys like that are still going to get a lot of money, but the veterans might get a little bit less. So like I said, Washington is about $39 million. So we'll start with some players that I think they should re-sign, and then we'll get into guys I really think would fit Washington really, really well and would be my dream free agency. So obviously... They couldn't get a deal done with Brandon Sheriff, and that's unfortunate not only because he's only going to be here for this year if they don't work you know, out that deal, but also his base salary is over $18 million. If you do a long-term deal, sorry about that, if you do a long-term deal, you can lower that cap hit significantly and maybe get it to 14, maybe get it to 13 million a year. You know, you see Chase Roulier's um, deal and, you know, it's only a base salary of 1.6 million. Obviously, there's some other things in there as well. Uh, or sorry, yeah, 1.6 million. So there's things that they can do, but they can't do it if it's a fully guaranteed salary. And that's what it is when you get franchise tags. So other guys, I do think the Washington football team should resign. And they already started to do this. You know, um, they tendered Cam Sims and Kyle Allen, uh, you know, Cam Sims is a restricted free agent. John Kime, you know, corrected this tweet later, but I think that's a good move. You bring Kyle Allen back for about $850,000. That is super incredibly cheap for Kyle Allen. I think that's a very, very good move. 850000 is almost nothing. And you bring back Cam Sims um, as a restricted free agent. Not sure how much money that's going to be, you know, yet, but it's not going to be much at all. And he's a really, really good rotational receiver for you to have, you know, had almost 500 receiving yards this year and really didn't, you know, play much until like week five or week six. And, you know, he progressed as the season went on. Some other guys, obviously, that I think they should look into re-signing. Long snapper Nick Sunberg. He's been here for a while. Good guy. I think they should re-sign him. And, of course, Ronald Darby. They've been working on a deal with Ronald Darby, but Ronald Darby was one of our best corners this past season. Arguably our best corner in 16 games. He allowed a 54% completion percentage, 10% better than last season, and allowed an 81 passer rating and one touchdown. Had a really, really good year and was going up you know, against most of the number one receivers in the NFL or the teams he was going against number one. So like Amari Cooper, like receivers like that. So he did a really good job this year. And if you can get him for around, you know, eight to nine, maybe yeah, eight to nine million dollars per year, I would do that right there. He's a really, really good, solid cornerback number two. I don't think he's a cornerback number one. Who knows if he could be that in the future? He's still pretty young, but I like him. He wants to be here and I expect him to be back here. Okay, so now on to some free agents that I think the Washington football team should sign. Obviously, they're not going to be able to sign all these guys, but here are some suggestions that I think 
would fit the Washington football team really, really well. And the first one is Corey Davis, wide receiver, you know, who just recently played for the Tennessee Titans his last four years. Has had a, you know, had just had a pretty productive season, playing in about 14 games, 984 yards, five touchdowns, was playing a little bit hurt. If he would have been healthy all 16 games, probably would have had, you know, close to 1,000 100 yards had a really good year is a pretty solid deep threat and intermediate uh, threat as well he would be a perfect receiver to complement Terry McLaurin and he has some really good potential just hasn't been able to you know uh, play amazing you know live up to that fifth overall pick potential with the Titans partly because of scheme you know they run the ball a lot with Derrick Henry also he's not the primary option they don't throw the ball deep too much but I still think you know a change of scenery for him will help take his game to the next level I think he's going to cost a lot of money not the same as Kenny Galladay but I do think it's going to be more than someone like Curtis Samuel um, and I think he's this really solid wide receiver too with potential to be a number one receiver in a couple of years. I really like him, and I really like his fit in D.C. And another receiver, of course, is other ones, uh, but Curtis Samuel, really speedy guy, and you guys already know everything about Curtis Samuel. I've been talking about him for a while. Washington most likely is going to try to sign him. You know, obviously played in Carolina. We all know that whole deal. 850 yards this past season receiving. Three touchdowns, also had 200 rushing yards and two touchdowns. So had five total touchdowns, over a 1,000 yards from scrimmage. Had a really solid year. Fits with Ron Rivera, um, you know, the culture. Played with Terry McLaurin at Ohio State. And also fits in Scott Turner's offense and would be a really good player to have and a really good weapon, a really good uh, you know, guy in the slot for us, I think that would be a good receiver. There's obviously some others that Washington could sign. I do like Marvin Jones. Um, you know, I've heard Nelson Aguilar. I wouldn't be upset with him. Uh, I'm not too in love with that. But now let's move on to some tight ends. And there's a tight end I really like, and I, uh, John New Smith, also from the Tennessee Titans in 2020, had his best year, 448 yards, eight touchdowns, and also had. Um, one rushing touchdown and you know his he started off the season really really hot but you know the middle to late of the season he was really dealing with a lot of different injuries which you know lowered his production was on pace for probably over 600 yards um, almost had 10 touchdowns would be a really really comp a good compliment with Logan Thomas and I honestly think uh, John Smith is a number one tight end in this league I think he can be a good starter and, you know, him and Logan Thomas could battle it out. And I think even them both on the field at the same time is really good. And John o. Smith is probably one of the, you know, most high profile tight ends this offseason, along with Hunter Henry's, but he's going to be much cheaper than Hunter Henry. But at the very least, we need to, you know, get a second tight end and someone uh, that could do that also is Gerald Ever. He's going to be cheaper than Jonu Smith and Hunter Henry um, and would be a really solid backup. 400 yards this past year, one touchdown. Also had run one rushing touchdown, and I believe that was against us. I think you just really need a backup. Logan Thomas is really good, a really solid tight end, but behind him, we really have no one. So I think you got to add someone uh you know, whether it be in the draft or whether it be in free agency, you can't go into the season with just Logan Thomas and, you know, bring back Jeremy Sprinkle if they decide to do that. Got to have someone else. And I know they have Thaddeus Moss, but they need also someone else besides that. So that's it for the offensive side of the ball. You know, there's a couple quarterbacks that they could go after, but none of them would fit, you know, my dream scenarios. I don't really, I'm not in love with any of the free agent quarterbacks slash the um you know trade uh, quarterbacks available via trade Jameis Winston if he were 
to be made available, I would be interested in him. I mean, he is a free agent, but it's very likely that the Saints re-sign him, but who knows with their cap situation. So now on to some linebackers. I really like Matt Milano from the Buffalo Bills would be a solid guy. You know, he's kind of like an outside linebacker, and you might say, well, he's not going to be used a lot here in Washington because we have Chase Young and Montez Sweat, but you have to think. We, Ryan Kerrigan is likely to leave, and same thing with Ryan Anderson. So, you know, Matt Milano, he mostly is in coverage and can stop the run too, but he can come off the edge, had three and a half sacks this past year, and we're going to need someone that can come off the edge when Ryan, or not when Ryan, when Chase Young and Montez Sweat are resting for a bit. We're going to need someone that can come off the edge, and he can do that, get to the quarterback, and of course, some solid coverage. He would be a solid linebacker. You would still need to find your answer at the inside linebacker position. There's some other linebackers as well. John going to be a little bit expensive, but I like him as well. But I do think addressing the linebacker position in the draft I would rather do that. There's a lot of, you know, day one, day two guys, even day three guys that I think could contribute right away. And cornerback, if you don't re-sign Ronald Darby, some options for them, Shaquille Griffin, William Jackson, um, Verrett from the 49ers, look out for some possible, you know, there's a bunch of free agents from the 49ers. Look out for some of them to come to Washington. Obviously, Martin Mayhew was the GM of the 49ers or was you know, uh, in their front office. So he's probably going to want a couple of their players. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know any players you guys agreed with and some players you disagreed and a player that I left off the list. I appreciate you guys watching. Turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video and peace.